Hi, Jenny here. Today I thought I would show you how I changed my colostomy bag. So, some background. I am 57 years old. Last February, so just over a year ago, I was diagnosed with a cancerous tumor in my rectum and I went through chemotherapy and radiation. They kind of thought the tumor was too large to do the uh, surgery right away. So they had me do the chemo and radiation hoping to shrink the tumor, which unfortunately it didn't shrink at all. Fortunately enough, my doctor was able to do surgery. So um, the tumor was too close to my sphincter muscle, so they weren't able to save my anus area. And so they um, cut all that out and they gave me a colostomy bag using my large colon. So in this video, you will see my intestines. You know, a ostomy is part of your intestines sticking out of your body. So what they do is they make a little hole and they pull the intestines out and they kind of they flip it flip it over. So I'm not wearing a shirt. I can't show you the cool little demonstration I've seen before. But let's say you know they your intestines come out and then they flip over the the sides of them so it makes a nice little round area and then they sew all around the edges. So that's what you'll see. I have no control over anything coming out of my ostomy. So I have no control over pooping or gas coming out and someone changing a bag that may happen. So again, you will see my stomach, you'll see my scar line of where they had a cut, you'll see my ostomy and you may see some poop. Actually, you'll see some poop because it's in my bag that I'm going to be changing. Um, but also the stoma may may uh, decide that it's time to go while I'm doing this, so you never know. So you always got to be prepared for that kind of stuff. Um, so in any case, yes, I have a permanent colostomy. I have a Barbie butt. So you can watch my previous videos and um, see information about all that kind of stuff. I have done change before with my ileostomy bag. So that's also here on my channel. I just thought I would show it again with the colostomy bag. My colostomy was placed in the same place as my ileostomy, so it's on the right side. Most of the time colostomies are on the left side, um, but sometimes depending on what part of the colon they're using, they also can be on the right side. So mine is there. Um, you also may see, see my port, at least just maybe now. I'll try to zoom in on my, my other area when you see what I'm doing there. But um, I started wearing a bra last week, a regular bra, and that's fine. It didn't um, hurt my scar area. But putting the sports bra on, it, it hurts my port. I still have, I had my port placed late last February. And it took a good three months before even just a shirt touching it wasn't sensitive. But there are still times that if, uh, if I bump it or, and now this is a little tight. <laughs> so this is resting on it, that kind of hurts. But again, that's just me. That's my, my story. It's what I've gone through. Other people I've heard, they don't notice it at all. After a couple of weeks, they were like, yeah, my, I don't feel it, I don't notice it, I don't. So yay for them. Uh, also, disclaimer of that, I'm not a doctor or healthcare professional or anything. I'm just showing you the way that I do things, the products that I use. But if you have any questions, anything going on with your stoma, any um, skin issues and all that, just call your doctor, message your doctor, get in contact with your healthcare professional, ask me, nurse, um, and get the professional help. But this still may give you little tips and tricks to see that it's it's not that bad. It's very easy to do. It's easy to live with. You know, the ostomy saved you know saved, saved my life. For I'm still I'm still here. I'm still able to um, yeah live life. And uh, get around and do things, make memories because I have the ostomy bag. So something you gotta live with. You just you know you you deal with it. You make the best of it that you can. Uh, as you keep going, it keeps getting easier. I happen to have an ileostomy. Um, they gave me that first in March. So I've had a long time period of being able to get used to having a bag and getting used to changing it. The colostomy is a little bit different, um, but in reality, it's it's not. I'm using the same products, the same process. So it's just a little um, different, a little bit different shape, size. So let's get into it. <laughs> I will show you the supplies that I use to get ready for changing my bag. Um, there is a measuring guide. This gets sent to you in every box of ostomy bags. So once you get used to the size that you are, you know your size, you don't need to use this anymore. 
but it's a good guide to have for when you're first getting used to your ostomy. This is the type of bag that I use. It's the first one that was given to me in the hospital. It is clear and see-through. Most people don't like those type of bags. I still do. Maybe in time I'll get... Um, I'll be ready to have a closed bag that you won't see through. It'll be more just this material and that's what you see. But that's what I'm using for right now. This is the barrier ring. That's going to go around there to help seal that off. I have the adhesive remover wipes. So this helps take off all the stickiness that's already on me. And then after that, um, I can use a barrier wipe that'll help this stick a little bit better. I have stoma powder. You want to make sure that you have some type of powder when you first come out of um, the hospital if you're getting an ostomy. Just in case you have any soreness on your skin, uh, you want to make sure you have that on hand that you can use it. And adhesive remover spray. So that again, um, I'll spray that on the outside of my rim to help get the stuff off at first. And then a washcloth to help clean off the stoma a little bit, or if, <laughs> if it starts pooping, then I have that, and then a hand towel to dry. I also have just a regular plastic grocery bag that I use to put all my trash in. And I will set that up right here on the edge of my sink. So sometimes also if I have <laughs> stuff coming out or whatever, I can just get up against the sink and have it flow. Some people put um, like tissue in underneath your, on your pants and all that to kind of help that area. My output has been thick lately, so I don't have to worry about it just kind of running. Um, but then I'll also kind of start setting up some of my stuff before I even take my bag off. I'll take that off, take the top ring off, and then this is all real sticky. So I leave that there, getting ready to go. This also has a sticky ring on it. I'll take that off. Leave this on until I cut my circle. Uh, normally I would cut it ahead of time, but I'll show you what I do. And that's it. So see if I have enough of this in here. Again, obviously you'll be seeing mostly my belly during this. You won't see my face. So I just try to, to get this outer ring going. And, and just use a little bit of spray. And it kind of kind of uh, runs down and helps get the rest of this off. And then you may have some residue on there from your clothes. And then on this side is my scar is. I've had some hair starting to grow back. <laughs> I'm hoping that with this, taking this on and off as often as I do that that will um, they'll stop growing. I just like to get one of these ready. Unfold it. And I'll start with cleaning off the skin that's already showing. And then the other ring. So sometimes you want to you want to push push against your skin while you're peeling the bag part off. Part of this the ouch. The most <laughs> the most hurtful part is it tearing some of the hairs out. So. You see how that barrier ring leaves some residue. Just fold that over, put it in, and we'll do some cleanup. up. 
So there is a little bit of poo on the stoma. So we'll just take that off. You want to just be real gentle. The stoma doesn't have any nerve endings, so it doesn't really have any feeling, so this doesn't hurt. But it is very vascular. It's got a lot of um, blood vessels in it. So it can bleed. A little bit of blood is normal. You just don't want a whole lot of blood. So this will also take off some of the stickiness. Unfortunately, sometimes that stickiness kind of stays in the washcloth. <laughs> It's hard to get out. My hands are wet. So a lot of people don't have a lot of barrier ring residue. I've seen people say I can change my bag in, you know, five minutes. And they just like take up <laughs> Take a little wipe and just go whoosh, and they're done. For me, I get residue. So this is what takes me the longest is to clean all this up. Should put paper towel on the floor. See, this is where sometimes I'll end up going over my bag. So as I get to see some of these pieces up, that I can get them to fall in the bag. Because if they fall on the floor, I'm going to step on them. <laughs> it's very sticky. Okay, that looks good. Take our measuring ring and you, you know, hold it up there and you don't want space in between your stoma and the ring. And if I would do that, that's kind of, that's too small. That like would weigh just fit. So this one fits pretty good. You see there's a measurement on there. So that's one and a quarter. And the bag has measurements on there. There's millimeters and then there's the inches. So I'm going to do the one and a quarter, cut it just to the inside. I'm going to stick your finger through the bag, pop that out so that you don't cut the bag. Take your scissors. I guess these are left handed scissors, I believe. I didn't think they were, but the rounded end is supposed to go in the bag, but then they wouldn't fit on my hand right. So it's the other reason to put the pokey end in, but you got to make sure that I keep my thumb in there to make sure that the, um, the bag doesn't get cut. If it does, then you just grab another bag and try again. Before taking off that sticky part, you want to put it on, make sure it's going to fit. And just a tad off. I made it more oval than round. So we'll cut just a little bit more. Also, if you're going to have your ostomy for a while and you know the size you are and it's not changing at all, you can order bags that are pre-cut. So they'll be the size that you need. I think that'll work, see in the mirror. Yeah. 
So now I can take this ring off. Take our barrier wipe. Sometimes you need this, sometimes you don't. I've done it before where I haven't used this and it's my bag is stuck just fine. If I've had skin issues, then I've used the barrier wipe and put that on there and that's helped um, for an extra layer in between my skin and the ring. Let that dry. If I had any real red raw areas, that's where I would use the stoma powder. But this is all nice and healthy skin, so I don't need that. And now we'll take the barrier ring. It's got another sticky area. And then we pull that apart until it's the size that we want it. And again, you can either stick this right on to your bag, right around the hole, or prefer lately one of the stoma nurses told me just put it right around your stoma so that again it has a nice snug fit. Check the mirror. <laughs> you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to kind of push it so that there really isn't any room between the stoma and the skin. It's kind of like you're, you know, like you're clocking around the toilet. It's the stuff that'll help prevent because of the the feces gets on the skin and it kind of burns it a little bit. That's where you get the skin breakdown. All right. And then we take our bag and put that over it and press it down. Oops, I forgot to angle it. The other thing when you're putting your bag on, you want to make sure which way you want it. Some people want it down. Some people want it, you know, they go completely sideways. Um, some people go more towards the middle. I usually go a little bit more in the middle. For me, it's easier to empty because, again, this is also drainable. I almost forgot. When you have your bag, this type of bag, anyway, um, if you pinch the sides like that, it helps for when later when you're wanting to drain the bag, it'll help pop it open easier. And then this folds over and over. There's Velcro on there, so that sticks together. And there's a little extra pouch. Pull that up in. Usually I close it off before I put it on me, just in case, again, if it starts, you know, if the stoma starts running, then if this is closed, it can catch it all right away. But So by rolling that up too, it makes it a little bit shorter. So you have that on. Now there are these extra, whoa, the extra flanges on here. So there's a tape, tape part up here. We pull that off. And get that all around on the skin. And the other side. What do I do this time? The other thing is that you do have area to work. Oh, I don't have another bag in here. Because um, like I am over on my skin, I actually could have cut this off center and I could move this over. We were doing that in the beginning, so it wasn't on my scar line. My husband's good about that when he cuts the bags. This is only my second time doing this by myself, so <laughs> with these bags. With the ileostomy, I didn't have to do it off center because obviously I didn't have the big midline scar. So I just want to make sure that it's all nice and stuck on there, flat. There aren't any little bubbles. And then you want to put pressure on for about a minute. So you hold that count to 60 because the heat helps helps it stick to the skin. And there you go. Nice clean fresh new bag. Woo! So there you go. That is how I change my ostomy bag. Like I said, there are different products out on the market depending on your stoma and things that you need. Some stick out more, some stick out less, some are more flush. So there are different products for those type of stomas also. There are convex um, type of bags and there are one-piece systems, there are two-piece systems. So um, there are yeah, the clear bags, there are colored, <laughs> the cream-colored bags. 
I don't know if the United States carries black bags. I have seen in London that those guys have had black bags, but I don't know if they have those here. More it's just that beigey cream color, what I showed that was on, ah, can I get the scooch up high enough? Whoa, what was on the back of the bag? Um, but in any case, so I know when I was first getting my ostomy, I searched online for different videos to try to help myself out and figure out what this was about, how to do this. So I changed it once in the hospital, easy peasy. And then I got home and then I tried to do it and it was like, oh, it was okay the first day or two, but as it, my stomach started shrinking and getting back down to more normal size, it was like it got a little bit more difficult. And I thought, oh, how do I do this? Or like with the stomach powder. I happened to watch Maggie from IBD. Let's talk IBD. Um, and she said she'd had her stomach for like 10 years and she used the stoma powder stuff because her skin was breaking down. And I thought, holy smokes, if she's using this product after 10 years, I may need that being a newbie. And so what is this that she's using? And so I looked on the company that I order um, my products from and I saw that they had this stoma powder and I called them and I asked them for it and they nicely sent me one right away, which was good because the next time I changed my bag, I actually needed the powder. I had a little raw area. And so I used that and that cleared it up. So it's always good to have that on hand. So um, yeah, that's why, why I make these videos. Like I said, hopefully this helped you. If you either have a stoma, if you're going to be getting one, doing your research, if you know someone that has one, maybe a family member you have to help out, you're a caregiver, um, any of that to see it's, it's not that hard. It, it can go very easily. And uh, there are, yeah, different, different products out there that can help also make it easy. <laughs> and then when you're all done, you know that, you know, I have it all in my little plastic bag. This all just goes right into the garbage. So I just tie that up and then throw it away. So that's about it. I hope that this video gave you some good information. Thank you for joining me on this and watching. And like I said, I hope you learned something. That's why I'm making these videos to uh, help people learn. <laughs> so that's it from me. You guys keep it positive. Go make it a great day. Bye-bye.